Did you did did you make the first move? Did he make the first move? What 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 was the meeting like when y'all first met? Uh, I was in the back getting dressed, and he said I walked past him, but I didn't see him at all. And then my friend girl, she came and got me, and she was like, "This dude would not dance with nobody. Come out here right now." I I was like, "Girl, I'm still getting dressed because I'd be in the back." And it takes me forever to get on the floor sometimes. So I'm in the back. I'm minding my business. And she comes back again. It's like an hour later. I say, girl, who is he? He better have some money. And I go out there, and it was him. And then we sat and talked. And and it's just after the age. That's all I wrote. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Chasing Andrew's ex. Speaks out. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Run up on it. Stasia in the building. Wow. What's going on this evening, ma'am? Hey, what's up? What's so before we get into everything, why don't you just let the people know who you are and which YouTuber that you associated yourself with at one time? And and what's going on with you now? Okay. Well, I'm chasing Andrew Jackson's ex-girlfriend. Or Justin. Y'all know Miss Chasing Andrew. Okay, okay. Astacia, okay. So let's bring it back. You're you're the, the ex-girlfriend. So was you the ex-girlfriend that was in the in the video? Way back in the day, Nicole, you a bitch ass nigga. You been it. You be trying to play with a motherfucker, but bitch, I'm the right one. Bitch, I mind. Line your ass up, bitch. That girlfriend? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, okay, okay. All right, guys. So before we go any further, Astasia reached out to me via via Instagram. And she wanted to, you know, she wanted to come on and chop it up with me. I do appreciate it. She want to come on and chop it up with me and share her story. To touch on a little bit about that, about that video back in the day, what happened? I mean, you know, because everybody, you know, everybody had their thoughts on what was going on because it was, you know, the video was pretty much one sided. You know, it was it was presented from, you know, Jason's vantage point. But what led up to that incident? Basically, time. It was just something that had just been lingering in the air for most of the time. And I guess we just, it just kind of all blew up all of a sudden. Okay, okay, okay. In that video, in, in that video, Jake Chasen never put his hands on you, right? No, never. Okay, okay. There was another yeah, he never. There was another person in that video as well. Was that a family member or a friend or a close friend? Yeah, that was a close friend. That was one of my close friends. She was there with me cuz I know it was people saying that he had someone in the house and he was cheating on me. It was it wasn't that. It was just stuff that just had added up over time. Okay, okay, okay. Because, you know, I, one point of the comment session at that time, somebody said that you you probably caught him, you know, with the young lady that was in that video. But that that's that's no. not the fact though, right? No, that's not true. Okay, okay. Well, several years, you know, several years later, have you guys have have you guys talked since then y'all got y'all y'all made up well i'm sure i don't know if y'all made up or not because you know chasing has a new woman but i mean are are y'all friends y'all still talk we're yeah we're very so much cordial we talk we talk often not often often but we talk a lot enough to know how he's doing and you know what he got going on all right, all right. Now you, now you also the same female that was in a few of his in a few of his previous videos as well. You're you're the entertainer, right? Correct. Okay. So how did y'all how did y'all two meet? Like, 
well, he 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 was at the uh, he was at the spot. Just happened to catch that little twinkle in his eye. How, how did y'all? How did y'all meet? <laughs> I did meet him at work, and then we just kind of got cool, talking on the phone for almost, I think, five or six months, and then he finally came back to Memphis, which he was working at night at the time. He had, I want to say, just started driving trucks, and uh, and it just went from there. All right, all right. So, a bubbly relationship. Now, let me ask you this. You, you know, you being an entertainer from the clubs and all, how, and and now that you started, you know, a relationship outside of the club, how was his, you know, how was his demeanor? How how did he take it? Because a lot of guys say that they they can't get in a relationship with, with you know, a, a, a entertainer, a female entertainer because of, you know, uh, how guys be like, Je- be jealous and stuff like that but how did at that time how how did Chasen take everything while you was while you was still working there he supported whatever I wanted to do to be honest if I wanted to dance he supported it if I wanted to when I started sewing he supported it he kind of supported whatever I wanted to do now if he felt some type of way about it he never he never said anything about it, not to me. Now it was now now that he was in a relationship, how long how long have y'all been in a relationship before y'all, you know, parted ways? I wanna say five years, almost five years. Wow. Because we got together, my baby was about to be two. And then we separated. I wanna say Ashton was going on six. Cause it's been two years and my baby just turned eight. So yeah, I want to say four or five years. Wow. That's, 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 that's almost marriage. I mean, yeah. What, I mean, what, would it, would it, what had been any kind of way of reconcile for y'all two after, after that, after that incident in the video could have been, could there have been, you know, Hey, I'm sorry. Let's let's try to make it work type deal. Well, it did get to that point. It was conversations with that the first year we separated. Of course, like we have he did a stop it. He did a apology live or whatever on his YouTube, but it was like after that he more cared about what everybody else thought than what he felt or what I felt. So we really didn't get to like he didn't I guess, I don't know. I guess we can work things out. We just let it be what it was. We separated it is what it is. So, in other words, YouTube kind of, like, got in the way, pretty much. Yeah. That was a lot of what our relationship was, you know. We had problems with that. It was a lot of just with groupies and different girls and of course once he started making a certain type of money he i ain't gonna say he changed but he just wasn't the same person i met when you know years before okay i got you so as of right now as as it is current you 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 guys is just cordial i mean you know hi how you doing happy new year merry christmas type deal how's your son doing type deal Right. Okay. 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 All right. So, how have you been doing? I mean, what? I mean, what have you been doing ever since ever since the separation? Like, you know, what has at a see see y'all y'all know I'm not good with names and I beat them up all the time. So that's why I apologize to this young lady early. You see what I'm saying? Because she's gonna be like, why the fuck you keep messing up my name, <laughs> Astasia? So how how you been doing ever ever since then? Like you know what you what what Astasia has been up to since chasing Andrew Jackson? Oh, basically, I just oh my god! Oh my god! That- 
is the best coffee I've ever tasted. Just been growing blessed. I mean, I just can't say that I've just been living this extravagant life, but I mean, I'm I'm living, I'm here. Uh, and that's about it. I can't just, you know, brag and say I'm just, oh, this, that, but it's, it's great. So are you so are you still in Memphis? Are you still an entertainer? I am not in Memphis. I've never really stayed in Memphis until then. It was always Mississippi. It's just very close to Memphis. But I stay in Georgia currently. Okay, okay. Now 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 Georgia is the scene for for female entertainers. I'm up here in Ohio, right? You know, when I used to I used to be a DJ for a couple of couple of clubs in my day, and sometimes the females there will take like like trips, and one of their most successful trips will be going down to Georgia. For you, you know, you 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 entertain in myth, uh, Memphis. What was what was the you know what was the vibe like between? states yeah between cities and states that you entertain in like which one which one in your opinion was your most successful uh, of course traveling now it's like a kind of break even situation because everything is just so overpriced but when i was working in memphis i made decent money just like if I was going out of town, I guess, because I'm kind of good at what I do. And, of course, like, people support me. So, at home, I would I would make more. It's just the, the feeling out of town. It's, it's just a different scene. Of course, I mean different people. But I'm just a kind of go-with-the-flow type person. So, it's just like both of them works for me. What's the, what's the competition like? Like, I mean, I know you get – I know you ladies – you know, got to, like, dig down and do something out of the ordinary to get that person's attention and for them to, you know, start coming out of the pocket with with the tips and everything. What's the competition like, you know, between you and the other, other entertainers? Hmm. I don't know, because I kind of try to be cool with everybody because I sell dance outfits. So it's like I don't see any competition not me it's some girls they do um but you just gotta get in where you fit in slow feet don't eat of course and you just gotta get out there and don't give up because every night it's not gonna be a night where you leaving with money so you have to just stay down and you never know because it only takes one person to make a night now like i said i you know i i was a dj at a at a few clubs and i i see you know some of the some of the things that the ladies had to, you know, had to do as far as getting their grind and their hustle on. Much respect to them, by the way, because they, you know, they be doing it. They, they, they be putting in, they be putting in work. Some people say that this ain't work. Yeah, you, you should have, really you should have been, you should have been coming in during my time. You know what I'm saying? Was, <laughs> was there any, was there any hardcore places? Like some ladies would would go a little extreme to make that extra dollar. Was that was that around you in some of the in some of the clubs you participated in, and 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 did one of the ladies kind of like ask you like, "Hey, I got this, you know, got this guy, and you know, he's kicking out a little bit money for a little bit more." Was that ever a thing for you? Well, I mean, it happens. It happens in any club, even if it's an upscale club, it happens. It's just, you have some that, that do it and some that don't. All right. So it happens. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So down in Georgia, what's the what's the vibe like down there? Because I, I know Georgia, again, is one of the is one of the key key places for female entertainers as well as Miami, Los Angeles, but Georgia actually. <laughs> Georgia they they Georgia is the scene. 
what's the vibe like down there? And have you, you know, have you ran across any uh, any celebrities? Because I know, I, I know when the celebrities come into place, it gets crazy. It does. My honest opinion. When celebrities are there, or I know the celebrity's going to be there, I try not to be there. On nights like that, it's just, it's not what people seem. You have to work hard. Because most of the time when people come in there, they're not coming to see us. They're coming to see whoever is coming. Because, of course, it's cheaper for them to be able to see them versus them paying to go to a concert. So, Good on point. those days, I just don't too much care to be on the scene because that's not the type of money I'm looking for. I don't want to work hard for my money. And and you got and you feel that you'll have to put in a little bit more, a little bit extra just to get that, just to get that couple of hundred dollars from that celebrity, pretty much. Oh, you will unless you want them in your bag. Because of course the club gets to cut off your money. So I mean, it just depends on what type of money you want to touch. Let's talk about the clubs, man, because I know I know the clubs get they get the door, you know, they get the door cash because, you know, when we come in, the party might be 10, 15, 20 dollars. Or if it's a celebrity there, of course, the the door charge is going to be a lot more. But for the fem, but for the female dancers, because, you know, they had to tip me to dip the DJ. They mm-hmm. had to they they also had to give something to the club as well. What what is it what is it like on an average, you know, payout for for a female entertainer? It just depends on every club varies and most of the clubs that I go to, you have to require a business license and a dance license to even dance. What? So it just whoa, depends. Whoa, 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 yes. whoa, 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 whoa. A business license? Mm-hmm. And a di- well, I think a dance license, at least down in Georgia or the key, the key cities that I mentioned, like what Georgia, Los Angeles, and Miami. I, I would assume you would need a dancer license down there, but you actually need Great. a you actually need a business name. You need an LLC to dance. What's what? Yeah, they require you to have it now. Most clubs do. Some clubs bend the rules, but of course, if Vice come in there, you'll be getting fined. The club will get fined, and then you'll probably go to jail because they require you to have both. Wow. Of course, you got yours, right? Of course. <laughs> there you go. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So you uh, a dance license, a LLC. All right. So what? So you on the average day you go in there. What what's a good time to start? Because I know, like some clubs open up in the middle of the day. They probably might have one or two dancers, not that much patrons. But what's a what's a what's a good time? What's a good time to start so that you guys could start seeing a profit for that that day? Or let me rephrase it: What's a good day other than Friday? But what's a good day? To, uh, to start and at least see a decent profit. And how much, again, back to the question, what, what's your kick out to the DJ to the and to the club owner? Okay, well, tip out normally, okay, the club that I work at, tip out depends on what time you come in. So say if you come in, a uh, night shift normally starts at 8 o'clock. So if you come in at 8 o'clock from 8 till 9, it's a certain price, which if you have your license and you have everything that you post to, it starts off at $40. And that's just your tip in. You have to pay the tip out, which depends on how many days that you get, of course, and your VIPs and stuff, they get a cut off of that. And if you make so much in your dances, then you will get your tip in back, but you still have to tip your security, your house mom. And of course the DJ, but you tip them to your discretion. House mom is automatically ten dollars through the week, and it's twenty on the weekend. And that's even if you do or don't use her stuff. I always prefer to bring my own stuff and still tip her because she she's in there. She helps count money and you know watching our stuff. So I normally tip anyways, and then 
with the DJ. It just depends on how my night's going and also with the security. The security, I don't really, I tip them depending on how they how they treat me. Like, you carry my bags to the car, I get my bags from the car. It just depends on what days and what security is there. Okay, okay. So let's let's talk about let's let's talk about the dances and the and, and the prices, man. Because some females, some in it, some some entertainers can can generate a, a, a pretty good a pretty good tip from from you know from a dance and all like that. Is it is it the full? Break it down for me, Astasia. Break it down for me. Is it a full song? Do I get the full three minute song, or do I get the 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 fade in a couple of minutes of the song and then the fade out? <laughs> Talk to me. How, how, how my lap dance is gonna work for me? Oh, it just depends because you have some people who try to be cheap, so you have to. The same way they hustling, you got to hustle them. So it's just like it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it depends on what type of money you spend. It like if you spend a big bread, of course, you know you don't want to give them they full song. But if you know they one of them customers to be like, maybe let me get, maybe get two dances for forty dollars. Be like, okay, I got you. And you just you you got to know how to hustle. That's how I look at it. It's uh, like. It's okay. a pyramid scheme. You have to know how to make a person feel good, and then they won't mind about those, you know, half cut songs. Yeah, don't I know? I I know from experience. I know from experience because you know <laughs> I had the ladies come up to me and be like, you know that guy right there. Like, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to dance on him, but make make sure you keep it short. How short you want me to keep it? You know when the when he seen get to the part to the to the hook, yeah, cut it right there. <laughs> I'll be like, For okay, real. okay, okay, yeah, no, no problem. All right, so is it is it is it more for you know if a guy want to get handsy on you and all like that, say like you know you 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 know you he want to touchy feely, rub the back, the booty. You know, maybe play with the front. Is is it more for that, or or do some ladies like some ladies when I did back in the day? Some of them went for it, some of them didn't. Exactly. It just depends on, like I said, what type of money you want to touch. Everybody in there for their own reasons. So I just look at it like, even if the girls who are like they, they don't mind. I mean, I'm quite sure they got a reason there and they're doing it. So you're just not in there for no reason and doing things that you don't have to do, you know. Because, of course, you don't have to do that. When most men come in the club, they're coming in there for their fantasy. So if you giving away the whole fantasy, then there's no reason for them to lust. So I think that cuts your money short, but to each his own. Okay. So when 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 Chasen came up in the club, I mean, what was your what was your initial thought of him when 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 you first saw when you first laid eyes on eyes on him? Did you did did you make the first move? Did he make the first move? What 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 was the meeting like when y'all first met? Uh, I was in the back getting dressed, and he said I walked past him, but I didn't see him at all. And then my friend girl, she came and got me, and she was like. This dude would not dance with nobody. Come out here right now. I, I was like, girl, I'm still getting dressed because I'd be in the back. And it takes me forever to get on the floor sometimes. So I'm in the back. I'm minding my business. And she comes back again. It's like an hour later. I said, like, girl, who is he? He better have some money. And I go out there, and it was him. And then we sat and talked. And and it's just after that, that's all I wrote. <laughs> Astasia, come on now. Come on now. Y'all y'all sat and talk in the club now? In the club? Yeah, we talked for well, we talked and sat for a second and then of course I danced. Oh uh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm about I'm about to yeah. say now. I'm, I'm about to say, but but overall he liked it he liked it he I, I guess he liked it, the presentation with you because y'all been dropped together for the last five years. So <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> All right, all right. So, <laughs> so Jason, he he was in there by himself, or did he have? Did he come in there with some buddies, or? 
Well, Ever since I know him, he always by himself. He, I've never known him to have friends until, I want to say until Callie. That was the first person I've ever known him to call his friend. Okay, okay, okay. So my man came up in the club. I, I guess he, I, I guess, you know, attraction at first sight. And he just wanted to just keep messing with you. So it was just it was just a vibe between you and him every time he came there. How many how many times yeah. how many times did he did he came did, how many times did he come there and get with you, you know, from from that standpoint until the time that he actually came up to you and be like, Look, I'd like to take you out. And question, where did he take you out to? I hope it wasn't Denny's. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, no. Well, like I said, we talked on the phone for like six months because he was working at night. So whenever they came to do the oil trade and stuff like that, that's when, like, I had got a chance to see him again. Um, we had kind of talked on the phone every day for months. And then when I finally did see him, he came back here. And I don't know, we've been so many places. I can't remember it the first place where we went to. I want to say it was Side Street. It's a bar downtown. And we went and ate and stuff like that. I can't really recall, though. Okay. What about what about some of the places, you know, being that, you know, Chasen is a truck driver, did you ever go out with him on the truck? Did y'all, did y'all, you know, travel the world or anything like that via truck or or anywhere else? No, that time it, I, I could ride in a truck with him. We was kind of separating by then. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, so, man, do you? Well, let me ask you. Let me let me ask you this. Do you miss him? I mean, do you, as of right now, like twenty twenty three, and I'm I'm not sure what Chasen's status is. I mean, it fluctuates, but. 2023, is there possibility between you and Jason? No. Yeah. No, not at all. Okay. We can just, we, friends, friends, yes. Like, anytime he needs to talk, and we've, we've talked about it. Anytime, you know, one of us needs to talk about something or be there for one another, you know, we gonna do that before it's getting back in a relationship, I couldn't see it. I don't know how he feel, but I couldn't see it. All right. Well, Jason had a bit of a controversy a couple of weeks. Another video surfaced online showing, you know, confrontation between him and his current girlfriend. Did you did you see that video? And if so, what's what's your thoughts on it? I seen it. It was sent to me. I don't know. I just was more shocked. I don't know if I don't believe that he hit her, but people changed because even the incident when me and him got into it, an altercation, he pulled out that phone so fast. So I believe like when he pulled that phone out, he pulled it out to, you know, out of, I'm not going to say out of fear, but out of like, he didn't want to hit her or he didn't want anyone to believe that he hit her. I don't think that he hit her, but if he did, then that's not something that he ever did with me. All right. Now, you know, a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an advocate for, you know, domestic violence. I'm, I'm not a fan of domestic violence. I mean, I had my, you know, me and my ex-wife, we, we had like super blow ups, but I, I had to walk. I had to walk away. No matter what was said, what was going on, I had to walk away. But some females are aggressive, like literally in your face, dare me to hit you aggressiveness. And right. I and my feelings on that, I mean, I you you should never hit nobody, man or woman. But if a woman wanna act like a man, it's unfortunately she gonna get treated like a man. You know, I mean I'm 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 just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, for some women that wanna be, 
you know, that wanted, you know, that want to get that cock dieselness. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but but with chasing, you you yourself said that you know he never put his hands on you, and you don't believe that he that he put his hands on on her. That was going to be my question. Like, do you believe that he could have allegedly assaulted the young lady? I don't. Yeah, I asked him, and he said no. So I believe no because he never knew me. And it been several times like where I be talking crazy and stuff, and he just like he'll just act like he don't hear me. He had him headphones in, and he'll just ignore me until I calm down. So if he did, like I just couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. You said that he that he was so quick to pull the phone out. Do you think that he pulled the phone out and go live so that so that he he keep himself in check so that he won't hit you? Well, I ain't gonna say so. He won. I, I believe it'd be more because like just to show that he didn't do anything in case you know, just like the situation he's in now. He said he hit her. So just to say, if I would have said the same thing that night, he had proved it. He didn't touch me. Because, of course, as I was doing all this stuff, I was hurting myself. You know, I cut myself and stuff like that. So if he didn't pull the phone out, it would have been his word against mine. And, of course, me being a woman, they going to believe me. Facts. Facts. Every I, I just saw this video, this court video, and the judge was like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and agree with this young lady, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, whoa, but the guy, okay. <laughs> all yeah, right. They're going to definitely go with the woman. All right. All right. Astasia, thank you very much for coming in here and chopping it up with me. I really do appreciate it. So as of right now, are, are, you're, you're down in Georgia. You mm -hmm. say you're an entertainer. Are you, are you entertaining now? What's, what's your status now? Not right now. Right now, I'm taking a break, trying to figure out what I want to do. Because, I'm, of course, I'm wanting to open a spa. So I'm trying to focus on my certifications and stuff like that. So I've just really been enjoying life, vacating, and just trying to see what I want to do next. All right. Now, being that you're an entertainer, do you have, like, do you have, like, other ways of, of entertaining My God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. Do you have like a OnlyFans? Do you have a website that people can 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 see you or anything like that? Um, I do have OnlyFans, but it's under construction right now. I'm rarely on there right now. I'll only be on there to to do my messages, basically like people who are already subscribed on there. I really haven't just been on there much, so. All right, you know what? Not at the moment. All right, so but you but you have experience with OnlyFans, so let me ask you this: the subscription is like you know I mentioned this you know before, the subscription is like is like the club, right? You got to pay to get in. Mm -hmm. Do you still got to pay extra for additional stuff that's inside the inside the subscription? Yeah. Is there you have to pay for basically anything extra you want, you will be paying like videos, pictures. You have to unlock it, of course. And once you unlock it, you have to pay whatever fee is on each video or picture. Wow. Okay, so I, I guess I was right. So it's not just a subscription because I always talked about it. What I'm looking like paying for a subscription for something that I can see for free. <laughs> I'm just saying. That, that, right. That's just me. But is there is there money to be made on OnlyFans? Because I see all these videos. I mean, I even tipped on a video of a couple of females that claim that they made, like, an upwards of, like, 50K a month. Is it... Is there money to be made on OnlyFans? Or, it, it, or does it depend on whether or not you're a celebrity versus an average chick? 
Well, it just depends if you're consistent with it. My first couple months off of there, I made 15K, and I, I barely even was on there like that. I, I had like two or three videos. It was just, I guess they were more aroused about what was on there. So people were subscribing, subscribing, subscribing. And then once people subscribe on there, most people don't go and change their settings to where they're on automatic bill pay. So if mm. you didn't forget, you didn't subscribe to this channel and you don't check your, you know, your bank statements every month, you know, or you not missing whatever their subscription is every month, you'll be getting a check from them every month or every week, however you got it to come out, you know, or your payment. Mm. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll make sure that I'll I'll check my 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 settlements every every month when they come from from Visa. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you, on the inside, on on the inside of OnlyFans, what what all you have to do to the the set up an account? I mean, I understand that it's probably might be easy and everything, but w when you set up an account and everything, what's what's OnlyFans take out of all of that? 10% out of each transaction. So if, so my subs are $50 a month. So basically out of that 50, I only get $40 of that 50. So even if they buy a message and say you send a picture and you charge $20 for the picture, you only get like 17, 50, I think it's something like that. But they get 10% out of each transaction that's made on your OnlyFans. What if, have you have you ever came across anybody that's like, look, let me go ahead and subscribe to your OnlyFans. Let me go ahead and buy these videos. They screenshot the videos. Have you ever seen any of your videos or pictures outside of OnlyFans? No, not that I know of. Not that I've seen. I'm sure people do it. I'm quite sure that they do. But, of course, I've never seen anyone do it. Right. No, I'm not sure. I'm quite sure that people do do it though. All right. So going so so continuing with OnlyFans right now, your 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 focus is not on OnlyFans as much as it was in the beginning. No. Exactly. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Well, Astasia. Hold on, wait, wait. Astasia. Am I pronouncing it right? Astasia. <laughs> no. I know, right? Astasia. Astasia. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for thank you for coming on and chopping it up with me and everything. Just to make sure, just to make it clear to everybody that the young lady reached out to me via via Instagram and all like that, and she wanted to come on and and share her story and everything. And I really do appreciate appreciate you, you know, reaching out to me. But let me ask you this, Astasia, why? Why me? I mean, why lock out me? Why why did you reach out to me? You know, it was another guy that I was going to reach out to, but I just didn't feel the need to reach out to him. So then I ended up seeing, seeing you in your channel, and I was just like, you had your information on there, and I was like, okay, I'm going to hit him up. He seems more genuine, so I'm going to hit him up. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, I'm